Okay, we're streaming. Hopefully, somebody can verify we're streaming. I am verifying right now. Oh. Oh, what? Yep, you're streaming. Okay. So, uh, hey, everybody. Uh, we are back tonight playing a continuation of short Co Sword Coast Shenanigans. Uh, uh, the uh, first adventure being the Dragon of Icefire Peak. Uh, I'm the DM, a reluctant DM, Aaron. And uh, we've got our, our channel host, Michael, a.k.a. Zerift. How you doing? And uh, uh, Michael is playing... Um, Vera the Bright, right? A drow cleric of of uh Illustrate. Illustrate, okay. Yeah, I'm playing uh Vera. She is an uh light cleric to Illustrate and she is performing a ritual to help uh win friendship from people that don't even know her for her kind of acts. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it for her. And then uh, also joining us, uh, we've got Patrick. Patrick, you're playing uh, Patherin, right? Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Patrick Mullen. Um, I'm, my character's name is Patherin Farwalker. He's kind of a lone wolf adventurer type. Um, he's very loyal and trustworthy. So if you're on his good side, uh, you have a friend for life. Um, yeah. Okay. And then... Um... We've got Nora, and Nora is playing a water genasi named Danley, right? Oh, uh, yes. yes. Uh, Nora, Nora, I am playing Danley. She's a water genasi way of the sun. So cool. So, um, we've got uh, Pete. Pete, you're playing uh, a uh, elf uh, blade singer, right? I'm playing Barry and Dalton, uh, Lord Barry Dalton, uh, wizard, uh, sun elf, um, noble place again. Yes. Um, let's see. I think, uh, I think we're, we're missing, uh, uh, Toby who usually would be playing Sir Tarkin, right. the, uh, the human paladin. Um, Hopefully he can join us, but he's having technical difficulties. So um, we are still in Nomengard. I think y'all stayed the night there. Uh, just as a quick recap, the the party went to Nomengard uh, to sort of inform and inform them of the the threat of the of the white dragon that's been seen. Around these parts. I'm sorry to interrupt. We should get one of our adventurers to do the story. Uh, go for it, uh, Lord Barry. Oh, oh, is it me again? I did it last week. <laughs> DM's word is law. <laughs> 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 It was a grand adventure. We went to Nomagard. Nomagard? Nom Nom Nomagard. Nomagard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh we met some um some some nice gnome in the kitchen, uh which actually um ended up making making us find out that our companion, the gnome companion with us, um Zana. Yes, Zana, uh w was actually Princess Zana. And we, we did not know this. Uh, we also heard that um, something was going on in the castle. The king had locked himself up. So we um, went exploring. And we found a crazed gnome on a catapult-ish device. It shot me really hard. Almost killed me. But thankfully, um, our my, my, my friend and companion, um, Sir Tarkin. Yes, yes, yes. That's in front of the arrow and took it for me. He took an arrow to me. What a great guy. 
Uh, after that, we continued down the hallway and we ran into a couple um, gnomes that thought we were a doppelganger or something like that. Uh, I don't know. They, they thought we were weird. Uh, but but we we able to get some bread from them and I stood guard for a while as they disarmed the rap. Uh, then we went on and we found um, Fizzle Fizzle Dib and Devil Dog. Um, they they told that there was a uh, uh, shapeshifter or whatever, and if they poked it with a stick, we'd be able to find it. So we went around searching and we poked, we poked, and we poked, we poked the barrel. And it turned into a, uh, a man eater and it eat us all, and we killed the barrel. Um, after that, we got uh, magic items and much rejoicing and had dinner. Did I miss anything? Yeah, you, um, I think they gave you a, a magic hat, right? As a reward? It's just a magic hat and a spell book and a uh, clockwork. Sing me, Jiggy. Oh yeah, the clockwork um medallion or something. Mechanism, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I was supposed to give you all the stats on that. Clockwork is like whatever it was. It's a uh, it's a clockwork orange. No, I don't know. <laughs> clockwork amulet? Yeah, it was an amulet. Let's see what it is. Okay, once uh, anybody who puts this amulet on once a day when you're making an attack roll or a saving throw, I'm saying saving throw. The the text only says attack roll, but I'm gonna say saving throw also. You can forego rolling a d20, so you plan. You can say ahead of time that you're going to not roll the d20 and just take a 10. Actually, sure. that's pretty good. Let me let me just list that on the. All players, uh, once a day. Yeah, once a day, the wearer can decide to take a on a d20 roll that is used for attack roll or saving throw. You must decide beforehand. There, I don't know. That's the. Um, and he recommends uh, who wants to take it. I am suggesting that we give it to the Paladin. Yeah, it makes sense. Or uh, the healer. In case Probably could you... call until we get the Paladin back. Yeah, sounds great. Interested in that, uh, Vera? We got that item, and we're at dinner. That's where we left off. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Well, we're we're gonna leave off, you know, where y'all are gonna have a long rest. So we'll say y'all had dinner, y'all spent the night, and the table turned out to be a mimic. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Lord Barry told a joke. The party laughed. The gnome laughed. The table laughed. Table attack. <laughs> <That's actually cable. laughs> um, just to clear it up, Aaron, did did you say that we went up a level? Are we level three now? Or yeah. Okay, perfect. So hopefully, I'm coming in all right because my sound, my new headset is a little quieter than before. Yeah, you come in real muffled and a little scratchy, but who am I to talk? So, 
Well, if you need to, you can up the volume for my my channel. Work. I personally prefer to hear Lord Barry scratchy and muffled. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you're not. I mean, you, we can understand you, and you're 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 you know you're fine. So it's it's actually not an issue. Yeah, it's all good, brother. Mm-hmm. So uh, let's see. So then I think, and then did I give you the stats on the hat, Pete? It was a, a spell casting hat, wasn't it? It was a wizard's hat or something. Hat of wizardry. Uh, let's see. Let me put that on a handout. Yeah, I think it counts as self focus. Yeah. Here we go. Hope y'all can see that. Yep. All right. So that will definitely go to you, Lord Barry. I wonder if a non spellcaster can use that to try to do a cantrip every day. It it requires attunement by a wizard, so it does require attunement. Sorry. But specifically by a wizard, right? Yep. Um, I gotta be yeah. careful and go over the number of attuned items I can have in one day. What have you got already? Well, I got my other spell focus, which is the one for my Gem of the War Mage. I guess I can give that to someone, maybe? Well, that one I don't think requires attunement, does it? Oh, I thought it did. Maybe it did. I don't know. I don't think so. I can look it up later, but you're you're fine for now. Yeah, it's attunement by a spellcaster. It doesn't need to be a wizard though. So if there's another spellcaster that wants to be used weapons and cast spells at the same time, they could have it instead. Mm-hmm. Is it uh, only arcane spells, or is it divine spells too? I gain spells. Uh, from what I could tell, it be any spellcaster. And what does it do? Sorry. It's a gem attached to a weapon so that you can cast spells while your hands are full. Like while you're wielding that weapon. Okay, that that's cool. Like a bow? Probably. Yeah, I don't see why. Yeah. Well, that'd be amazing. I... I pay you for it, man. No, 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 no. You can have it. It's all yours. Awesome. Let's go to the party. Oh, thank you so much. I owe you, man. Um, What's it called again? Just so I can write it down in my notes. It's called a Ruby of the War Mage. Ruby of the War Mage. Okay. Um, what class are you? Are you a ranger? Yeah, I'm a ranger, and I just gained a uh, mark. Hunter's Mark spell and uh, Cure Light Wounds spell. So 
I can cast those while holding my bow now. Yeah, that's one thing I understood because I've never really worried about weapons for Ranger, but I guess the Ranger does need to have free hand to cast them, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. I think everyone ignores that. <laughs> that's because Rangers are already screwed to begin with. Free hand to cast her song? I believe it's somatic only. I'm not sure. I'm trying to add this into my character. I have to check it out. So uh, y'all wake up for breakfast, and uh, and Zen is asking y'all. She seems kind of troubled, and uh, yeah, Hunter's mark is verbal only. So you don't need a hand for it. Great. Cool. Um, the other one I have is Cure Light, and I'm pretty sure I need hands for that. Uh, so, so Zan is thinking that she might want to stay here for a while, and then she she says, "I know I promised you all that. You know we'd be adventuring together, but." Um, I really feel like my father, he's, apparently he's been under a lot of stress lately and he's just not able to handle things as well as he should be. And especially with this mimic that, uh, that was, uh, attacking everybody. Uh, I'm thinking I might just, just stay here for a while. Uh, is that okay with y'all? You do what's best for you. If you feel and that you must do this, then you have my approval. I will miss you, Princess Zana. I give her another big hug. <laughs> so she says, thank you. Thank you so much. She says, uh, you know, if y'all want to come back here, be, you know, visit anytime. She says, and I swear that if, if any chance I can to get away with I'll come see y'all in Fandolin. That sounds wonderful, Princess. So... <laughs> um, what? Oh, yeah, wait. There was something else. Oh, okay. Um, she says, oh, there's one thing I want to give y'all. Or a couple of things. And, More uh, gifts. Wow. We're really blessed. Thank you. So she gives y'all two uh, potions. Vials with potion. Let me let me create that handout. Did I leave? I'm not being sorry. Every time it gets really quiet, I've lost audio. <laughs> uh, how do how am I sounding? Am I sounding okay? You're fine. You're sounding great. Okay, good. Because the last time I used y'all this headset, y'all were like, "You sound too far away." Uh. Yeah, I'm using this headset because the last one kept on disconnecting, so I'm hoping this one will Jesus, sorry, I got distracted. No, everything sounds good to me. Okay, so she gives you all two bottles filled with red liquid. And she warns you that, be careful because when you drink it, it makes you burp and you sound like the 
you sound like a bull when you when you burp after drinking this. Great. So she gives y'all two of them. So um, whoever wants to take those. I wouldn't mind having one. Everyone cool if I add one? No, you can have one. Yeah. Um, I only get spell slots back in short rest, only one. Um, is anyone else good from short rest? Uh, no, I wouldn't get any benefits from a short rest other than uh, hit deaths. So, yeah, I do think you could take it. Did Nora get the benefit? Did she get her key points back after a short rest or a long rest? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, then why, uh, Barry, sorry, you get spell slots back after a short rest? Yeah, he'll get uh, Yeah, I get, I get two spell slots back after a short rest. It's either two level spells or one second level. All right, so you and uh, Danley should take them. Thank you, Dana. Uh, thank you very much for all your hospitality and everything you've done for us. But I'm okay. All right, I'll grab it. Okay. Just remember, don't drink while sne sneaking. <laughs> and don't believe the hype. It doesn't give you wings. Oh, yeah, it is Red Bull Potion, isn't it? Hey, we're not getting awesome. paid for that. What are you, uh, okay. what are you saying it out loud for? <laughs> Yeah, don't don't get us uh, um, demonetized, Rand. Okay. <laughs> Blue Bull. So uh, I guess with that, y'all are off. Back to Fandolin. And I uh, yeah. New day. D20. New day, new dragon, right? I hate the web interface. I mean the the tablet interface on D and D Beyond. It, it like kicks you out of the app instead of going back to like the table of contents. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So we're done there. All right. So y'all travel back to Fandolin. Y'all back in Fandolin, Zen is no longer with y'all. And y'all are able to claim, what did we say it was? For y'all's trip to Nomengard? Okay, y'all go back to the Townmaster, and uh, Harbin Wester Jr. gives you uh, 50 gold pieces. Oh, great. Each? No total. Um, as a reward for for your trip to Nomengard. Perfect. So everyone, cool. Splitting ten each. 
Yep. All right, so everybody can add 10 gold to their character sheet. And like we talked about, I think everybody's level three now. So, um, wait, which one? Let me take this one off. So, when y'all go to town, y'all see Lieutenant Dan uh, at the town master's hall, and he's there with uh, Harbin Wester Jr. And he seems a little bit anxious. And Every, everything all right, sir? Um, so he's, he's like, um, I'm fine. Thank you. Um, but I, I did get word. I was here to tell Harbin Wester, but y'all are here too. So, uh, I'll explain to you just as I explained to, uh, town master Wester. Um, some of my, uh, uh, my network of spies reports that uh, Butterskull Ranch, which is uh, near Coneyberry, along the Tarbor Trail, uh, some orcs were spotted um, th near there about a 10-day ago. And uh, we'd hoped that nothing would come of it. But uh, who has it? Is it Barthen? Barthen's provisions. Uh, Barthen was expecting a shipment of uh, of butter skulls this week, and they didn't show up. So we're starting to think that maybe um, Big Al's uh, come under attack by those orcs. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, I was going to speak to the town master to see if he could send somebody out, anybody out. But y'all are here, and I'm assuming that the town master would have put y'all to the task, anyways. And uh, town master Wester just kind of nods his head in agreement. Yeah, oh, great. Well, I am looking for a little bit of work. Uh... What do you say, guys? Sure, sure. Looking at the rest of the group. Yeah. He says, great. Um, hopefully Big Al's okay. Uh, either way, let us know what you, uh, what you find there. Um, and he says, and Lord Barry, I have a bit of personal news for you. Yes, yes. What what is it? The Tante? I've heard that uh and and, and, and excuse me, you're 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 uh, Lord Danlethan, right? Yes, yes, Lord Danlethan. Of the Sun Elves. Right. He says, I've heard that uh you were uh, on a little bit of a personal quest. Uh, looking for perhaps a, a weapon uh, from your of your part of your ancestry, your heritage. Ixnay on the weaponry, eh? <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, talk somewhere else, if you might. I, I find this um this conversation very interesting. I'm not quite sure what you're talking about, but um, we should talk about this. Uh, in more detail um, later. Sure. All I am is that I'm. Uh, all I want to let you know is I do have some leads. Nothing actionable at this time, but I will let you know. Why? Thank you, um, Lieutenant. And uh, okay he... then. Well, I want to catch a bit of a buzz before we hit the trail. Anyone up to get some drinks?
Okay, then. Uh, I'll uh, head off to the tavern and uh, get drunk like an alcoholic. All right. So, um, when you get back to the uh, Stonehill Inn, he's it's very limited in what his his uh, he's offering. He kind of tells you, you know, if you're if you're really wanting to get, you know, to to do more than just you know have a drink with your meal. He said, then you need to go down to the, the sleeping giant uh, down the road. He kind of directs you over there. He says, I'm sorry, we, we're very limited in what we have. Yep, yeah, no problem. I'm just uh, looking to catch a quick afternoon buzz before we hit the trail. So you head over to the sleeping giant. And uh, let me see. I think I don't have anything for that. No. I wonder if that was a tablet if it does turn a card. Well, no. It's also one reach. Give, give, me, give me a hot second. There's uh, something I gotta check in, or something going on here. I gotta check on. Yeah, no worries, man. Oh, okay. I also have two minute calls here. Yeah, okay, I'm back, y'all. Sorry about that. No, no worries. So, let's see. I guess, uh, yeah, you go to the to the tavern, the sleeping giant, and it's just a your standard run of the mill. I was trying to find out if there was anything in particular that was there, right? But I don't see anything there. Um, one of the things that you do here while you're drinking. Uh, Pathrin is that uh, the the bartender tells you that um, uh, that they are starting to hear rumors from people that pass through town and from um, that uh, that there are a, a great deal more orc activity as of late uh, that they've come down from the mountains to play on the prey on the lowlands. And, oh, uh, perfect. And they're I better take hoping, another shot. And they're kind of hoping that uh, they don't that 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 the trouble doesn't come to Fandolin, especially when they're working so hard to try to rebuild everything these last few years. Okay. Well, I'm more in like drink to get a buzz mode rather than to drink to hear things, but I appreciate the uh, knowledge. So I definitely leave behind a big fat tip with my drinks. All right. Um, so, what is uh, what do the drinks cost? Uh, I don't know. A couple of silver. All right. And I drop okay. a fat gold coin on the table as I hightail out of there. Okay. 
Uh, did anybody else need to uh, buy anything or while they were in town? Now you got a whole nother fat 10 gold pieces to spend. <laughs> I got to save up before I can buy anything else. All right. So I'll let everyone else know through my slurred speech. Guys, guys, apparently there's a, a lot of orcs coming down from the mountains. Uh, looks like they're causing trouble around the area. We should be ready for anything. Uh, I think Vera's going to go to town square. Mm -hmm. Play her harp and have like a hat or something there to for people to throw coins into. Okay, so uh, you're you're at the town square and uh, you start playing your music. People come by, and uh, and uh, they start, you know, they pull out their coins and they they throw they throw them into the uh, this fountain that's right here, <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's so nice for for. Uh, Somebody who's not a, a follower of a Tamora to be helping out this shrine, especially while Sister Gorel is gone. They tell you and they pat you on the back for. That's not what I meant. I meant like have a hat for them to throw coins into. Yeah, they yeah. they totally ignored your hat and they went to the Shrine of Luck, which is right there in the middle of the town square as well. They they figured that that's why you were doing it. You know that you were kind of stepping up for Sister Tamora. And I'm playing the harp, uh, the illusion harp, right? Mm hmm And the illusion that's cast when I play it is a drow dancer dancing mm -hmm. in, to the music. Okay. So no making more money, just completely backfired. <laughs> so um are y'all ready to head out to uh, butterskull ranch they're telling y'all that it's mm -hmm. going to take a couple of days travel so, so where, 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 where did you say, say uh, uh, they, they made, made all the, the weapons, weapons and stuff is that, that the, the worker, worker or, or the line shield, shield co uh, co coster line shield coster Okay, okay, so, so I, I'm, I'm over, over there, there uh, wanting, wanting to get, to get an, an axe. axe. Okay. And uh, she tells you that an axe is... Which is an axe of five gold. Like a, like a hand axe? Yeah. yeah. It is... Uh, I think I should know better to put out my DM screen, even though I'm not DMing in person, that I should just have my DM screen out so that way these things would be easier to reference. I haven't figured that out yet. Five gold for a hand axe. Is that the five oh, gold we just got? got yeah, you got ten gold. So. Ten gold, okay. okay. So, sorry. okay. so you definitely can afford it. You can afford two if you want. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll get, get two. two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, so they they're telling you that uh, Butter School Ranch. Let's see if I can pull up the map. All right. Let's do this. So y'all are here in Fandolin, and y'all are trying to get to Butterskull Ranch, which is over here. And it's a good solid two days travel. 
just past the old ruins of the town Coney Berry. If we were to grab a horse and a wagon, would that cut any time off? Um, I don't know that it will. All right, let's do it on foot then. All right. So, uh, y'all head out of town, and y'all work y'all's way toward Tony Berry. Who's doing what on the travel? Like, who's keeping track of the surroundings? Who's keeping watch? Who's making sure that y'all are staying on course? Yeah, I'm. I'm the ranger. I have um, the what's it called the um, natural explorer, and I have my proficiency is grassland. So as long as we stay on the road and there's grassland on either side. I'm really familiar with this type of environment and adept at traveling in it. Okay. So I can take point and kind of keep watch as we go along. Okay. All right. What about the rest of you? <clears throat> y'all doing anything special as y'all travel? Mm, practicing my lighting. Okay. Which is more of a dance than but Go ahead. I'm a, yeah, I guess she'll just play her harp the whole way there. Oh yeah, some some bad yet yeah, towards it. Um given the knowledge that Patherine has about the orcs, he's gonna be on the lookout specifically for orcs and uh track and sign of orcs on the trail. Okay. Um, let's see. So, uh, fortunately for y'all, the uh, the journey is uh, uneventful. Um, one of the things that y'all hear before y'all head out again is, uh, apparently Big Al, he is a retired adventurer and, um, you know, he, he opened a ranch and a farm, um, and like, his big time claim to fame is the sale of of butter skulls, which are just lumps of butter that are molded into the shapes of humanoid skulls. And so, um, that's fun. So that's why it's known as butter skull ranch. And that's why, um, and everybody loves that butter. Apparently it's high quality butter. Um, uh, it's margarine butter rip. Yes. So when you start to get close to the Butter Skull Ranch, you start to get to Coneyberry. Um, you know, like I said, it's just an abandoned, it's just ruins at this point, right? Um, I don't know if somebody wants to give me a history check or something. I'll give it a whirl. Uh, second about maybe I shouldn't give it a whirl. Maybe I did some better history. Barry, can you do a history check? Okay, so Barry, uh, I have been studying my history. So, uh, what uh, Lord Barry can phase to the rest of you is that Coney Berry used to be uh, under the protection of a uh, banshee. Um, but for some reason 
uh, the town fell out of sorts. Nobody knows what happened to the Banshee or if the Banshee is still around. Um, um, and the the, the the village is long. I can have to guess what happened to the Banshee. What what did we do with that Banshee? <laughs> She's still around. I think she's just upset because well, she's been in a foul mood ever since certain drow uh, stole something from her. Uh, but generally speaking, she is open to uh, to visitors, especially if they're willing to trade uh, items of magical, historical value. Um... So when y'all get say, closer, huh? I was about to say, uh, uh, I gotta, I gotta go AFK for two minutes, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. I was about to say, Vera would trade uh, Barry's firstborn. <laughs> so when you get close to Tony Coney Barry, it is eerily silent. All you can hear is like the whistling of it, of the wind as it's blowing through some of the long since burned and crumbled down structures. Um, but one of the things that uh, Pathrin notices, because he said he was kind of tracking and on the lookout for stuff, is he has spotted three unsaddled riding horses grazing near an old well. So the the well is um, out of surface. I mean, there's water in it. I think doesn't look like it's been maintained. So just these three horses, these ruins, but there's no sign of anything else. Wait a minute. So you said you walked up and you went to check out the well. Right. Yeah. So I answered your question about the well. Just the well. That's what you asked about. Well, the horse are unsaddled. They're, are, they, are they tied up or not? No, they are not saddled. They're not tied up. They seem loose, but they seem like they would have otherwise have been normally well cared for. Like, And this, this we're not like near the restaurant, right? Not like, there's not a building right nearby. Right? No, y'all are like over here just on the outskirts on the uh, you know, about to leave the ruins of Coneyberry when y'all spot the well and you see these these three unsaddled horses. They they look like they are otherwise well taken care of riding horses. You know, at least from a distance, from what you can tell. Um, probably a ranger is probably got the best animal handling. Who would animal handling be? Nature? Oh no, animal handling. For my god. What would bring some horse, unsaddled horses in this area? Uh, we're near the Coneyberry. You're 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 almost out of Coneyberry. So did we just through it? Yeah, you've already gone through most of Coneyberry, and you're kind of on the far end of it, 
little, you know, just a short ways away from Butterskull Ranch. Can I walk up and try to pet one of the horses? Sure, if you give me an animal handling check. Okay, so uh, you are able to approach one of the horses, Vera. Um, it seems to kind of look at you kind of odd, but otherwise, um, it allows you to approach it. doesn't seem startled by you and, uh, it appears to be, uh, amenable towards you petting it as you described. And, uh, on closer inspection, Vera, you do note that uh, the horse does seem well taken care of, and in fact, it seems to have been branded with the letter, letters B-A-K. Um, would a history check, um, tell me anything about the symbol? Say what now? A history check about what? Tell me about those symbols. Um, sure. Probably not. Yeah, um... You're like, uh, sorry guys, I don't know what the heck BAK stands for, but let's get on to Big Al Kazam's ranch, why don't we? <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to Butterball Ranch. I think that's the name it, of the owner. It is, it is Butterskull Ranch with the proprietor Bill Al, Big Al Kazam. Oh, I thought I thought I the the signs on the horses we uh BR for Butterskull Ranch. I don't know. The horses say B A K. B A K. Um. Too bad you I failed your that, history check. I thought B A K means we need to send these back. That came from. <laughs> so, so we, we must, must ride, ride them, them back? back? <laughs> Bareback. What are you going to do about these horses? Well, I thought he was going to say that these horses were owned by chickens because it keeps saying pop. No, they're actually mule compost composers. Okay, uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> I, guess, I guess we're going to try to take the horses back to Big Al's ranch. All right. Probably a good, good thing. So... Um, oh, give me Vera. Um, I think you can give me another animal handling check with advantage now to try to get the other two horses.
Yeah, you've got that one horse under control, but you don't have any of the other horses. The other two horses yet. They seem to be real resistant to... So then Pothron, he comes along and he's like, guys, let me show you how it's done. And he's able to get the other two horses under control. So y'all are able to... Now again, these are bareback, you know, unsaddled riding horses. Uh, so I don't know if y'all just want to guide them back. Or okay, if we can check the ruins for saddles, blankets, or anything that we can put on their back. Yeah, offhand, it's it's nothing. I mean, the the town has been in ruins for so long that there's just uh, it's it's barely remnants of of the roads and the uh, the structures. No, nothing would have uh, survived at this point. Of course, a good ranger might know if you just pop them in the butt, they'll go back. But but either way, y'all can at least you know put ropes on them and guide them back to with you to a Butter Skull Ranch if that's what y'all want to do. Yeah, that sounds great. Where did these horses come from? Butter Skull Ranch. They were there uh, near a well as y'all were leaving the ruins of Coneyberry. Okay. Are they marked or branded? Yeah. They're branded with the letters B A K. Right. So if they made a joke. So if the place is called Coneyberry, the horses were there because that's where they can find food. There's a lot of berries there. So because you said the Butter Skull Ranch is pretty dead, right? Well, y'all don't know. Y'all haven't made it to Butter Skull Ranch yet. Y'all are trying to get back there because uh, hopefully the orcs haven't. So we, so we gather, gather some berries from the horses, horses just in case they were over there, there and walk the horses back. Yeah, I think uh, I think Pathrin probably can find some some stuff for the horses to kind of keep them. Sure, I can take a look around. Yeah. Make a survival check. Yeah. Yeah, he's able to find some stuff that the horses will be able to, you know, to be able to maintain the horses for a day or so, uh, which should be long enough. I mean, y'all are only about an hour and a half out of Butter School Ranch, apparently, so. They seem to just love these yellow flowers that grow, are growing over here. Let's gather some up. Yeah. Okay. So y'all are gathering some of the flowers. Um... see um Catherine Vera and uh Danley y'all hear what sounds like a ding 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 I I look around for the source of the noise sounds like a go go the bell, bell. <laughs> it's a as you kind of zero in, you you get closer. It sounds like a cowbell. And does anyone see a cow nearby? Uh, where are these flowers? Where you're picking some of these flowers? Um, you can see a a cow. Um. And she's got this the cowbell on her. And she seems to be grazing on the grass and stuff around these flowers as well in the field. Does she have the same brand? Yes, she does. You know, guys, if if we're worried about the ranch, we might want to save rest uh gathering the animals to possibly figure out if anyone's alive at this or not. Right. Maybe so your we thought would... is to maybe instead of guiding the animals back, just kind of keep them secure where they're at here. Yeah. 
Well, we'll both fall out die if we stop for every animal we fought, right? But, but just, just in case, case I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't you want, want the cow, cow to, to come, across come across something, something off of the cow, cow and then we run off, off with the horses? horses? <laughs> I think we should get to Butter Skull Ranch as fast as we can. I mean, if, if the ranch was attacked and these animals are loose because the place is on fire, we should probably see if we can save any humans. Yeah, so uh, if that's what you're thinking, then yeah, you can sort of uh, kind of keep the these these four animals kind of secured um you know still in the field still near some water but uh secured so that way you can come and retrieve them once you've determined the coast is clear if that's what y'all want to do because I, I definitely know leading a cow back wouldn't take us longer they move fast i agree let's leave the animals and go okay so you're able to to kind of guide the animals and and uh Keep them up, and and the cow especially seems to be uh, uh, comfortable around you, Patherin, uh, and uh, does whatever guide you know wherever you guide her, she's willing to go. Perfect. So you're, you're able to to easily uh, get her to a place where she can where she can secure her. Stay here, old Bessie. We'll be back. <laughs> See. All right. So y'all are approaching Butter Skull Ranch. Let's do this. So the scale of this map is not one square equals five feet. Even though that's what it says. So y'all are coming on off the tribor trail, you know, um, about here, and uh, you know, there's there's a hill over here on your right, but then over here you can see a lot of uh, you can see what looks like a cornfield over here, and here, and an orchard here. Looks like some gardens, vegetables, and stuff. Um, there's a pond, there's a farmhouse, over here looks like the pasture where Bessie would probably normally have been, but you can see that there's some of the fences that's been knocked down, wrecked. There's also a destroyed barn here and a destroyed, uh, smithy here. Do they look fresh destroyed, like still on plastic? Yeah, oh. it looks recently um, looks recently destroyed. Uh, there's also another hill over here at the at the very north part of the map. Um, um, Yeah, you see cornfields and apple orchard, gardens and pasture land. Uh, there is a path right here that kind of will lead you to the the farmhouse, which still seems standing. Looks like there's some trouble here, guys. And yeah, these 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 two buildings do seem like they've been recently destroyed. We should get low and stay quiet. Check it out. All 
Yeah, I think instead of going on trail, let's do the corn field or the wheat field. I like that idea. We can cut through the orchard too. So I'll make a stealth check. So y'all are gonna like kind of cut through here or here, and then work your yeah. way through the orchard. Where y'all gonna come out from? Like over here somewhere? Oh, over. Should we do the uh, the still uh, existing or check out the burn one first? Uh, maybe once we get out the other side of the orchard, we'll be able to see a little better. Okay, so y'all are wandering through the, or y'all are kind of working your way through the, the cornfields. Um, I, I Lord Farian thinks he's very stealthy, but in fact his pointy hat is sticking above the field. Okay, so you do hear some kind of rustling in the cornfield about right here. Okay. Um, I don't have uh, control over my avatar. What about that one? You have control of that one? Um, no. You sure? Something weird is happening with my computer. Yeah, because you moved it. You moved it off screen. Yeah, I, I think I have like auto scroll or something enabled. Hold on. I'm gonna refresh the client. Add some here. Hmm? Do I add add some here? I do. It's a few of them, right? I thought this is it. No. Oh. Uh, No. Yay. Oh. I'm back and it's working. Okay. There it is. No, that means I have to. So if I hear some rustling, I will draw my bow for sure. Okay. I will also pull out the sword. And then I think the... So, you hear some wrestling and... Um, but you're not really seeing anything. Not anything at a normal height. Um, who, who's taking point? Is that Lord Barry? Because you kind of seem to be closest to where the noise is. Yeah, I think I'm I'm the only one willing to point, so I guess I'm taking point. All right. So uh, you hear a little. Uh, do I do investigation or just walk in? Yeah. So when you step forward, you you hear it's actually just a pig. I I could. Uh... Uh, 
not probably talk back to uh, the others. Just a big guy. Seems to be just kind of wandering around, just munching on some corn. Yeah, I move up to join him. Okay, so you're joining the pig? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> like, move up Mr. and some of that corn. Lord Barry. Okay. <laughs> right behind so, you, Barry. So, yeah, it looks like the path is clear towards the towards the orchard if you want to you know, make a beeline towards it and then try to get under the cover of the orchard, the apple orchard. Well, I feel like the cover of the, uh, the corn is probably better. Yeah, well, over here you can see there's still some, like, raised gardens, some vegetable gardens, and then they're up on, um, on some supports and stuff, so it's not, like, all just low to the ground. So you've still got a little bit of cover being provided, if not just from the tree trunks, from the uh, from the vegetable garden over here. Um, so do we see anything besides this? Yeah, stuff? looking over here, it doesn't look like there's anything going on. The the from what you can tell, the uh, the barn. I mean, it still has that, you can still smell the, the, I mean, the fire, there's no fire, but, you know, it still has that burned wood smell like it was a recent occurrence. Okay. Smell says that smell. Yeah, you know, it lingers for weeks, probably. So. Do I smell it? Hmm? Do I smell brisket? No. But, uh. You start to crave baby back ribs. Baby back ribs. And then the pig kind of looks at you and then just kind of moves along. Oh, that's a pig falling. <laughs> Picks up an apple that had fallen and then just kind of scurries off. Uh, what do you think, guys? Should we check out the farmhouse? Okay, let's go. Get to the edge of the uh, gardens where we can have a plain view and take a look at the farmhouse to see. I'm just going to... You guys hold it back if you want. I'm just going to make sure there's no orcs surrounding the house before we move at it. Well, I think we will see before now. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of problems hearing you now. You are breaking up quite a bit, um, Barry. Um, could be because I'm pushed to talk, maybe. I'm letting it go too early. No, it sounds like, um, it's like over top of when you talk. Mm. Static -y, static -y static -y sound, sound like, like, right about right back Yes, yeah, staticky. That's exactly it. Mm -hmm. So right now it looks like um Does it sound any better? No. Yes, yeah, so as you approach there's a there's the outhouse over here and then you see the farmhouse here and what we can do is I'm going to take everybody and move y'all over to This map over here. But y'all are coming from the south, so I'll put you around this side. Cool. Y'all are approaching the house from the exterior. You can kind of see the... Uh, Can I look around for any like blood marks or signs of a struggle or anything like that? As a matter of fact, you can. Give me a, a survival check. Um, there I'm are actually, a lot louder. 
There are actually a couple of... Uh, like, uh, back toward, off the path that y'all were on. Let me, let me just kind of say where. It was kind of like on the far, the northwest side of the, uh, of the house. Um, uh, leading towards, yeah, like over there. Um, you can spot a couple of, uh, what look like a couple of corpses. Uh, race? Orcs. And humans. The humans do not look like they had been armed with much more than, say, farm tools. And inside you can hear... Inside the house you can hear voices as you get closer. What language are they speaking? What languages do you know? I have common, dwarvish, elvish, orc, and thieves can't. Uh, they are definitely speaking orc. It's too muffled for you to tell what they're saying, but you can definitely tell from the guttural sounds. Guys, there's, there looks like the orcs have won out here. There's definitely orcs held up in this house. We should try to draw them out so we can poke at them with range rather than get in close quarters, especially with Lord Tarkin being on his holidays today. So, where? This is like a two-story house that you're seeing. Okay, so do these... Do these voices sound like really close to us or far away? Um, so like, let's see. Shall I right here? Kind of trying to listen near the windows, right? Yeah, it, yeah, it, sounds, it sounds like two distinct voices inside from what you can hear. Maybe we draw him out. We say that we're here to pick up a load of butter, and we draw him out, and then uh, Dan Lee can get the drop on him. Um, about this time, you hear a door open on the far side of the house. Somebody's coming. I'm going to try and hide. Okay. I was just thinking, picking up a rock and throwing it near the front door. Get their attention over here. Do it up. You all right with that? Yeah, I mean, whatever you want to do, brother. I got your yeah, back. Yeah, I'm trying to find a rock, a big rock, and throw it on the porch on the south side of the building here. Okay. You hear, huh? What's that? And I am going to ready a chill, not touch for some work. <laughs> I'm going to ready an attack as well. If the door opens, uh, I'm going to ready a sacred flame. Thinking birds. Yeah. Stupid pigs. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. 
Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. So we see that guy? Uh, I don't know. You might. You start, um, to, is, hear, you start it, to hear somebody go, I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. All right. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Well, I'll yes. step around the corner and shoot. Fuck him. <laughs> All right. Let's do some initiative then if you're going to do that. Fire baby. Uh, so you're going to step out and shoot him with an arrow. You have advantage since you were stealth. Okay, well, 22 will hit. He screams out, oh, what the hell? He starts screaming, everybody, we're under attack. Sorry, guys. Lord Barry, you are up. Okay, I will come around the corner as well. Um, As a bonus action, I will start a blade song. Okay. And I will um I wonder if I should just run up and start fighting. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out my sword. And I'm gonna go up to him. And swing my sword at him. Get him. Get him. Sixteen will hit. Or four piercing. Wow, perfect roll. I <laughs> <laughs> just like your sneak attack there. Another one. <laughs> All right, Danley. Can I, I shoot a him? All right, you got a thirty foot radius, and you're behind cover. So where are you gonna where are you gonna move to before you can do that? Right here. So you're still 35 feet away from. I think you need to be 30 foot. There you go. So a 17 will definitely hit that orc. Five points of radiant damage. 
Um, Burn. He's burned to a crisp. Hey. His go. You hear some other voices. Julius? Julius! What's wrong, Julius? Julius is lying uh, down. I'm taking a dirt nap. Julius the orc. Oh. I love it. <laughs> Let's see, where are they coming from? I guess they're coming from right here, which would mean they're going to come running around the corner. And they see Lord Barry. So Lord Barry. Huh, actually. He's going to go right here. So Lord Barry, you're going to get an opportunity attack on this guy if you want. Um, sure. ID hit? Yep. Wow, another one. Do I even roll a d6 here? Yes, another four points damage. Okay. So then this other this other orc runs right up to swings his great axe at you. Why is this set up for a hidden rolls? Anyways, I think it's going to miss a 12. Uh, yes. I'm an AC of 18 right now. Yeah. Actually, I should update that. One. All right. So 12 was going to miss you. Oh, yeah. That's sick, Lord Barry. Love it. Love mage with AC 18? Yeah, I love that too. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, the other orc. Runs right up, sees Danley, swings his great axe at Danley. Still not high enough, though. 18 is still kind of low. Does a 15 hit you, Danley? No. An adult blue dragon has AC 19. 15 misses. He swings his great axe and just totally just whiffs. Danley just kind of just dodges out of the way. Ooh, haircut. Um, Vera. Does he ruin part of my hat? <laughs> I think you're muted. Did I move right here? No, I don't think I don't think he hit your hat either. Mm -hmm. And then what are you going to do? Oh. Well, that failed. Ouchie. Yeah, that's a miss. Swing and a miss. All right, Patherton. So since we outnumber him in combat, I can move out of combat for free, right? Without provoking? No. Yeah. That's probably some other addition to rules. Okay. Um, or a homeschool rule or a DMG rule. Can I... I can't shoot a ranged weapon in melee other either, right? You can. You'll just have disadvantage. Okay. Um, I'll just use my bonus action to drop the bow, uh, produce my dagger, and I will attack. Okay. It's a free action to drop your bow. You don't need a bow. Okay. So a 22 will hit. The system, this dice system is broken, man. 
Yeah, I need to be doing, uh, what is that? Um, I don't get my sneak attack damage there, I believe. D &D or or actually, yes I, yes, I do, because there's an ally within five feet. That's right. So nine points from me. All right. And that will be my turn. Okay. Pretty good for a dagger. My first time using it, I'm happy. I think the dice on uh, D and D Beyond are broken because I was using it to play a couple nights ago, and I didn't roll anything above a ten. And then in this game, I'm like just like crit, crit, nineteen, eighteen, crit, nineteen. <laughs> oh, it seems to be doing better than roll twenty does. I got two ones on both my attacks so far. And your damage rolls. Yeah. Okay, um, I am also going to pull out a dagger, and I am going to um, stick this guy with my sword. For nine piercing. And a dagger does a DC, does a 12 hit? Twelve does not hit. Okay. Okay. Uh, Danley, again, since um, you're in melee, uh, the Radiant Sunbolt is a ranged attack, so you'll have disadvantage if you want to use that, but you have mm -hmm. other options. Well, he used an axe on me, so I thought, okay, we don't have axe, too, so I take out the axe. Him, him. Okay. A 21 will hit. That does nine points of slashing damage, and that kills that orc. Yay. Two kills for Danley. Cool. Oh no, Orcus Prime just died. Barry, your mic is healed. You you sound much better. What did you do? Uh, I went to my tablet, which keeps disconnecting for some reason. Hmm. But it sounds better, so. I am really... If I'm thrown off, y'all, it's because I'm really trying to understand this freaking map. Yeah, map of this uh, farmhouse. It's just, uh, are there rooms and doors where they don't belong? Yeah, I mean, it's you know, I don't know what the f I guess, yeah, all right. I think I see, I think I get it now. I think this is like a porch. Or uh, something. Yeah, that that looks like a patio, like a yeah. porch where. Yeah, I think that's what this is, and I think the door is like right here. Yeah, that looks like the right door, porch. Yeah. It's just yeah. Okay, I get it now. All right. Uh, orcs go. Let's see. All right, another one shows up. These guys, really? Is that not? Hold on. These guys are gonna. Okay. Uh, two more orcs roll up. They go leaping off the porch towards you, Lord Barry. Two more orcs? Or... Yeah. Because one or one, more, one more, sorry, one more. 
but he's screaming. And um, all right, so he's gonna swing. So two of them are gonna swing great axes on you. A Thirteen and a sixteen. And a sixteen is a miss. All right. Um, Tanking these guys like a champ until they crit me and take me down one hit. <laughs> and Pathran looks astonished and impressed. And then the window opens right here. And a jab. I figure up dance with, like maniac, like a maniac. Oh no. <laughs> He's going to throw a javelin at Danley out the window. I'm going to say he smashes the window and then throws a javelin at Danley. So, just so that y'all see where this is. This is... <laughs> I hit reveal and it obscures. <laughs> the hell, man? Are we supposed, Are we supposed to, see, to see the, able to see the, the inside of the house? house or? Or? No. no. It's been oh, okay. censored. Okay. Damn it, what the shit? What is wrong with this damn... <laughs> oh, I see, yeah. I see, yeah. Okay. There we go. So yeah, you can kind of see that's where the glass got window got smashed, and there's an orc sticking his head up, and he's throwing a javelin at Danley. He was sticking something else up, but it had to be censored, so that's why the black. <laughs> he was sticking his ass out. He was he's too lazy <laughs> to walk to the outhouse. A javelin goes flying towards Danley. Does a fifteen hitter. Misses. Misses. All right. These orcs suck. How the hell did they take over this farmhouse? Because they're fighting commoners. Vera, you're up. All right. Uh... And they've had some pretty bad rolls. Oh, yeah. I forgot I get that spell now. <laughs> I forgot I um, actually get these spells when it's level. Up. I get spells too, but I'm hoping not to have to use them on these guys. Uh, that's one ray. Two ray. Wow. Okay, the last one hit. The guy that's right here. Okay. That's a bad roll. Okay. That's where he gets for sticking his butt out. He gets roasted. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. All right. Catherine. Um, I'm going to attempt to, it's a two-story building. Yeah. Can I climb to the roof with an athletics check? You can make it halfway up with an athletics check in one turn. Hmm. Okay. Um. I am going to is this five five foot squares? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna double move to this doorway and um attempt to open the door. So that one actually I think leads Yeah, I guess that does lead there. To the second floor or to the first floor? No, it does. Yeah, it, it is on the ground floor. So that is a door. And the orc in the window, is he on the ground floor or the second floor? Ground floor. 
Okay. So I'm trying to go in this doorway. Okay. Fling open the door or what? Yeah, fling it open. All right. Um, um I just hold on. Can I uh just rewind time a little bit? Can I just use my bonus action down here to down here to what? What would you say? Sorry, I dropped my bow previously, and I would just like to pick it up before I move. Sorry, if I can rewind a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you can. I'd like to sling that over my shoulder. I'll still open the door with my dagger out, though. Okay. This is the free action to pick it up as well. All right, thanks. Uh, so you fling the door open. Let's see if this works. Nope. Does that work? And you close the door again. <laughs> you fling the door open and you see three more orcs. Wrong door. Let's All see. Right. Close the door. <laughs> Seriously. It's a lot of orcs. Lord Barry. Maybe I do need to start using some spells. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking it's going to be easy fight with just like three or four orcs and you're going down like two or three hits. Okay, so the one I've been stabbing, I'm going to stab with my sword again and probably moiderize him for six points damage. A two wow. one. A two and a one on my crit. <laughs> is he still alive? Fortunately, that is enough to kill him. Okay. And then with my dagger, I'm going to stick the other one with my bonus action. So 24 to hit. Now, the d number here is probably off because it includes my dex, which I do not get on my offhand. Okay, so it's so just three points. Three damage. Oops, did minus four. I didn't put together an offhand dagger attack. I probably should. All right. All right, Danley, you're up. Okay, so, so I, I wanted, wanted to do Anna. Yes, you can. Twenty one will hit. Four points of radiant damage to the orc. And then what are you going to do? You're going to stay with your at? You're going to move? I'm staying, I'm staying where, where I'm at. Oh. Oh. No, no. Can I? I, I um... do, do, is, is that, is that one still, still in the window? window? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll move a little closer. closer to you. Sure. Is that it for your turn? Are you gonna need burning? No, that, that that's, that's it for, for my turn. turn. Okay. All right, orcs is is is. is. So the orc thanks you for getting right in his uh, view. So he's gonna throw another javelin at you, Danley. Twenty three hit you. Yes. That does seven points of piercing damage. Uh, the orc on Lord Barry is going to swing his great axe. <laughs> and misses. Um, I'm just picturing this orc just swinging. It's like, I got you now. He misses and uh, realizing what just happened. He's just dusting off uh, the wizard's shoulder. Going, you know, I was always admire you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
if anyone if anyone wants to tune in to my DJ session for this game and hear the sound effects that I played during this combat, please click the link. And don't kill me, DM. Three orcs on me. Three orcs are on you. One of them is throwing a javelin. The one in the back is throwing a javelin at you. Does a 15 hit you? Yes, it does. AC 14. So that does nine points of piercing damage. And now two great axes are going to stick swings at you. Ooh. A 14 and a 19. Both hits. So that's another 16 points of damage. Total for both? For those two, oh. yeah. For those two great axes, yes. Total 16. Uh, so which puts me at minus four. Okay, so the ranger goes down. Uh, I said, I, I would have just closed the door and said, I got the wrong place. <laughs> I would have. I didn't get a turn, so that's all good. And we still had movement gonna left. Step past you. You still had movement left. You could have booked it. Uh, I I double moved to the door and then I opened the door, so I I, I didn't know. That's all right. It's all right. I'm cool. The yeah, opening the door does not take any. Okay, movement. healing word on. Pantheran. Probably a good idea. Why not? I'll do it at second level. Healing so word. But you're point. 50 feet away from him, so... Was it's it 60 much. foot? Okay. I thought it was 30 foot, but that's fine. No, you don't need to move if you don't want to. And then I'm going to sacred flame on the orc in front of me. All right, so Pathrin gets oh, come on. six points back. So you're at six points, Pathrin. So do I go to zero or do I go up? Six. You're 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 at six now. You were even though you said you went down to minus four, you're at zero. And then he just gave you healing words, so now you're at six, positive six. So you're you're prone, and conscious, but you're not dead. Yeah, there's then, no negative health in this game. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I just have to say the amount I am below because if it's over double, then I'm outright. Exactly. Dead. Yeah. Exactly. So Dex save fifteen saves. Yes. Which right. not to did much because I rolled a one. Yeah. Well, it didn't do anything because he saved. And now Pathrin. You find yourself prone, and uh, it will take you half your movement to stand up. Yeah, half movement to stand up. Yep. Yes. Okay, I will stand up, and can I use the other half of my movement to jump over the railing and go there? Um, you would risk an opportunity. You attack. will risk two opportunity attacks if you do that. You can disengage. Oh, yeah, unless okay. you take the disengage as an action. And then I can use the other half of my movement to jump the railing, or no? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'll, I will disengage and then jump the railing. Okay. And, and that'll be my turn. I think, what's your movement? Your movement is... 30? 30, yep. So you can move yeah, you still got 10, two more squares, I think you can move. Yeah, 10, 10, two more squares. Perfect. Thanks, guys. All right. You're welcome. I guess as my free action, then I'll draw my bow. Lord Barry. Well, I have no clue that that's going on over there, so I will continue. Stabbing the guys that are near me. You stab. Or six piercing. And he's still up. 
probably yes. he didn't really take too much, right? Yeah, he's still up. Uh, that was awfully close to a crit. And one piercing. He's still up. And that's my turn. Okay. Danley. <clears throat> Okay, okay, so, so um, can, can I use, I use patient, patient defense, defense uh, attack him, and then dodge when he's his turn to attack me? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay so, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move forward, forward and I'm going to use my axe on, on him. Okay. Oh, that hits. My slash. So you don't actually need to use your patient defense if you don't want to, because that kills him. Oh, okay, okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, you can still do it in case somebody else wants to throw javelins at you, but right now it doesn't. Or you continue count. moving and use your use uh use your bonus action to attack again. Can I use can I uh, use bonus, uh, bonus action? Well, uh, uh, well, you can move forward, I guess. Yeah, yeah can I move forward. forward. Can I move can forward? forward? Yeah, you've only used five feet, so you still got the rest of your movement left. Yeah, you probably can move another 40 feet. By the way, that's what you see inside the room, so. Yeah, oh, you can oh, go oh, there, oh, and then there. you can spin your key point to attack guy, that guy to, if you to, want. Can I use axe again? Axe again? No, this would no. be your uh, your off -hand, your yeah, unarmed yeah. strike. Yeah, your hand hand. So you can do one unarmed strike, or use a key point and do two unarmed strikes. So Gloria, so Gloria blows two arm strikes? Sure. Okay, so... Okay, so... But I can't use any... I can't, any, use, I can't, I can't use my quarter staff either, right? Nope, this has right. to be just no. unarmed strikes. Okay, so, okay, I, so I, 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 I... Punch, kick, whatever. Yeah, I, I, yeah kick I, I kick him. And, and I punch, punch him. him. All right. Let's see it. I like a knee to the groin and a headbutt to the head. <laughs> These unarmed sound effects are funny. So the first one misses. The next one. The next one hits. And that kills that guy as well. Yeah, I'd turn this music on, but it'd be picked up by my mic and then everyone would be listening to it. All right. Yeah, it's all good. It's just sound effects like, Psh! ah! Unfortunately, I don't have headphones for my PC. All good, brother. All right, so. I guess I'm not going over to help. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. wow. <laughs> I love their aggressiveness. I would laugh. They basically get very... double speed if they see somebody. I I would laugh if there's a, uh, a, a martial arts move for Monk where they can do an all three stooges slap on three enemies. I'm sure there is, probably. All right. So let's start with Patherin, just because that might inform what Vera will need to do next. Two great axes on Patherin. Oh, uh, or is that an eight? The uh, first attack is a 22, which will hit for 12 sashing. The next attack is a whiff. Uh, 12 That's slashing. Good. Yeah, I'm down again. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure if the next attack's going to matter because he's down here. Yeah. yeah, minus six. Oh, so no. then, one great axe on Vera. Oh boy. Well, in that case, so what this guy will do is he'll he'll move towards Vera. 
and uh, let's say that that was a javelin at Vera that missed. Okay, but now there's a great axe on Vera. 20 for 15 points slashing, if a 20 hits. I believe it does. Yes, it does. Now we've got one great axe on Lord Barry. A 20 for 13 uh, points of slashing. Um, 20. I will pop a shield. Okay. So that burns your reaction and a spell slot. And another great axe swings this time on Danley. Does a 15 hit you, Danley? Misses. And then another great axe on Danley because she's been finishing orcs. And a nine misses. Vera. Uh, Vera is going to have to. Yeah, the hell, hell of it. She's going to have to do an inflict wounds. 13 hit? A 13 hits. Oh, shit. 11 damage. Okay. That orc is still up. All right. What else? Can't do any spells. That was my gamble. I was hoping to kill him. All right. I guess I'm done for this round. Because of something. You know what? I risk an opportunity attack and go over here. Okay, you know Patherin's down again, right? Uh, but I can't heal him. If I move forward, I'll be surrounded by orcs. I can always come back and save him if we manage to bundle together. To okay, to I'm just 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 making sure that you're uh, that you yeah, have awareness uh, yeah. of that. I, I'm just thinking of how, how, right. what's the best way to solve So a great axe swings in you. Does a 15 hit you? No, it does not. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, before you move, you, you can use, use your bonus action to do another healing word. No, I can't. Because he did inflict wounds. Oh, yeah, inflict wounds the first all spell, yeah. You're right. So, Patherin, we need a death save from you. Thirteen, so you are you have one stable, or you have one one saving saves one save. You're not stable yet. You're. Yep, I marked the green light down. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Lord Barry. Okay, as my bonus action, I am going to cast magic weapon. And then I am going to. Um, none of these orcs are wounded, are they? I thought one of them was. Yeah. No. Uh, maybe not. Maybe we kill them both. Um, I am going to stab the one on the left. On the far on the far left, the one in yes. front of Danley. Okay. The one in front of Danley. Does a 13 hit? A 13 does hit. Burly. For 5 piercing magical damage. Okay. Alright. That is my turn. Danley. <clears throat> okay, you did the, okay, one, you on did the, the one on the left, left far right? left, right? Yes, the one in front of you. Okay. Um, the less we have attacking us, the better. 
Should I keep, Should attacking, I keep attacking that one, or can, that one, or can, can I, I can I from there, from there and, and and do a uh, bolt on the, on the one that is that is on the far right? The far right. No, I think you keep keep attacking the one I'm attacking. Okay. Okay. So, so I, will... I will. I'll do. I'll um, do. Um, axe on that. Axe one. on that one. Okay, twenty three will hit. Nine points of slashing. He's still up. Is that it for your turn? Or are you gonna? Um, I'm looking. Hold on. Sorry. I think all you can do uh, is either flurry of blows or the. Well, can I? Defense. Well, can I? Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, patient well, defense. Patient can, defense I can I use that? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Just dodge that way. Hopefully, you don't get hit, because. But I use that, but I once, use that he once he attacks, right? No, you have to use it now. I would use it. I would now. use it now. Yeah. So, so just just move from right, there. Nice patient. Dodging. Best reaction. What, what did you what, say? What did you say, Pete? Say, Pete? I'm sorry. It'd be nice if patient's defense was a reaction, but it's a false act. So I can just, so I can just, just, just dodge. When they say dodge, when they say dodge I, just I just move from, move from there. there. <clears throat> yeah, no, you have to do dodge as a... Uh, you have to call the dodge now, basically. So, but in other words, you're, if you're going to do... You can't do patient... You can't wait to do patient defense if, when somebody's attacking. You have to do it now before your turn ends. So that means, so that, that, means, that, means that means I move, I move right? right? No, no, all it means is that while you're standing there, you're just extra, extra slippery. You're, that they, you're, you're harder to hit. Kind of like Lord Barry. That's what Lord Barry's doing right now. You're just dodging. You're just dodging here. They're trying to hit you, but you're just doing, <clears throat> being extra good at trying to not get but hit. That but doesn't that really doesn't really help me right, help now, me because, right now because, I mean, later, I mean, later he's going to attack me. So no, I won't, yeah, so no, so I won't yeah, use he'll it. He'll attack you, but he's less likely to attack you because he'll have disadvantage when he attacks you yeah. since you're dodging. Oh, so okay. he's less oh, okay. like, and it's not just him, it's anybody is less likely to hit you. When okay, you're okay, well then I'll use, I'll use it then, but I don't have to. I just, I just, okay. I just, I just lost my key point, not. Exactly. Yep. Okay. okay. I'll, do, I'll that. do that. And it takes your bonus action, right? Yeah, it takes your bonus action to do. So, so that's do pretty much a, that's a, pretty much our turn, turn at this point. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right. So Danley's dodging. You can't hit me. That's kind of like what Lord Barry's doing for like a whole minute. Though. Yeah. Lord Mary's got dodging to an art form. All right. So Orxus is <laughs> go. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So where'd these guys come from, guys? And where's our archer? All right. So, uh, let's see. Great axe on Vera. Actually, look. Okay, let's start. Let's start with the. Uh, let's start with the uh, this guy. He's gonna do a great axe on Danley. He has disadvantage. So a ten. Misses. The next one, he's going to. Uh, he'll do a great axe on Danley. Again with disadvantage, a fourteen. Misses. All right. This one's doing his great axe on uh, Lord Barry, who you. It's still not your turn yet, right? So you still have a shield up. No, I did my turn uh, uh, just a moment ago before Danley. Had... Okay, okay, so yeah, so your shield is still isn't up. It's down right now. Okay, so does a 17, uh, 17 hit you? Meters. Okay. We've got another one over here who's trying to attack Lord Barry. Does a 15 hit you? 
15 misses. All right. And then we have this one who's attacking Vera. Does a 13 hit you? I'm guessing no. Yeah, I said. Okay, sorry. You're getting cut off. Uh... And the other one starts running towards y'all, but since he doesn't see anybody, he doesn't get the benefit of the aggressive movement. So now it's Vera's turn. Uh, Vera's going to use her drow magic to cast fairy fire on the two beside her. Okay. Um, doesn't have a bigger radius than that? It does, but she can by by limiting it to just the two beside her, she can avoid hitting anybody else. Oh, it can hit us as well. Okay. Yeah. I'm assuming that's what you mean by that, right, Michael? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's save. Uh, twenty foot cube. And dexterity save. Okay. The one near Lord Barry fails. The one just on Vera saves. Okay, so this guy. And, uh, he's lit up with very, very light. So he's easier to hit. Anybody that tries to hit him has advantage. And since that was a drow racial ability, I did not waste any of my spell slots to do it. Oh! Yeah, I did. I had that the whole once. time. You can only do that once per day or... Yeah. yeah, I know. No, it's not that. I have an ability that could have saved my butt earlier. I'll use it next round. I'll okay. My turn. So that was your action. Do you have any movement or bonus actions you want to do? Yeah, there's nowhere I can move to. I risk double attack opportunities. Okay. Catherine... Catherine the Abandoned. It's time for another dead save. That's it. Ooh, oh, was... shit. So the count it's is one and one. one. That's not bad. Not bad. It's not bad. You just don't want to be rolling any ones from here on out. It's, it's still good. It's still good. Just a little airborne. It's still good. I ain't dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Lord Barry. seeing the one behind me is glowing, I am going to stab it with my sword for a crit. For a crit. So, so, 7 plus 6 plus 1, 14 points of damage. <laughs> okay, he's still up. He's still up, eh? Which, 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 which one? Which one's this? The straight ahead or the one? Or, the, the one with the purple oh, dot on it. Oh, oh. Okay. I don't know if you um, can see the purple dot. Yeah, yeah, I see yeah. It right there. As my bonus action, I will stab it with my dagger in my offhand. Um, I'm assuming twenty-four hits. Yes, it does. Or three more piercing damage, which kills him. Okay, one less to worry about. And that is my turn. Thank you, Vera. All right. That was a great little spell you cast. Or whatever so, you did. All right, Danley. You've got one orc right in front of you who's not looking too hot. But then you've got two orcs over here that are looking really hot. But not in the sexy way. I was about to say they look average to me, but. <laughs> Kill the not so hot one, please. 
Step up of the win. Do, 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 do I just, is that, that just, just disengage? And, but do, but do I, I get to do, do another attack or not? Uh, that'll be as a bonus action, so then you'll be able to take your attack. You'll be able to make an attack on your action. And then do step of the wind as a bonus action if that's what you want. But that's, that's it, right? right? It lets it lets you get out of there without them attacking you. Yeah. Unless you kill one of them and then you would have the ability to tackle the other two with each unarmed strike if you spend a key point for flurry of blows. Okay. okay. Well, well let me finish, finish this guy in front of me. So, so I'll hand axe him. Ax him nicely. <laughs> Excellent. 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 Um, <laughs> um, well, I guess I'll guess I'll nicely. <laughs> <laughs> so a 21 hits for four points of damage that wipes out that orc in front of you. And can okay. I So right now your options are you can use a bonus action to do an unarmed strike and not cost you any flurry of blows. You can use a or key points. You can spend a key point and do flurry of blows and instead of getting one bonus action unarmed strike, you can do two bonus action unarmed strikes. Probably against the guy that's directly in front of Lord Barry. And <clears throat> or you can do step of the wind. And run away. And run and run away, or patient defense and just stand your ground and dodge. Which is the one when you mentioned do another weapon. Another weapon. Another weapon. Is, uh, uh, oh, no, you won't. Odd. You won't. Yeah. Uh, at this point, the only time, the only weapon you can use for bonus action is flurry of blows, which is unarmed strike. Yeah, I don't want to use an arm strike. Or, or I guess I can use an arm strike. A monk that doesn't want to do unarmed strike. This is. Weird. I only know one point left. Yeah, so just use your bonus action to do an unarmed strike. It doesn't cost you any key points. A nine misses. With so next to the okay, things are looking better here, guys. You might next survive this. What? Yeah, he's saying that things are a little bit optimistic for you. Three against three, we can survive, right? Um, but being ironic, Pete. Go team, go! All right, so he's going to come over here. Uh-oh. He's going to throw a javelin at uh, Vera. Does a 20 hit you, Vera? Uh, I would like, to, I was going to say I was going to use my reaction to use Warding Flare. Okay. Wait, I thought Warding wait. Flare only worked on melee. This is a melee, isn't it? Or is it a javelin? No, it's a thrown javelin. This guy over here threw the javelin. I think Warding Flare is a attack, to be honest. Well, just throw it out. Let's see what it says. Uh, 30 feet. I think javelins have to be 30 feet. Okay, so you can impose disadvantage. And that might actually work. Yeah. Uh, it says when you receive a melee attack. Attack by a creature within 30 feet of you, you can see. It doesn't say mainly. May, yeah, maybe I'm reading the wrong one. Yeah. I was looking at the spell. The spell. All right. So the disadvantage means that that six is actually what he rolls to hit you. It's a critical fail. Does that mean he hits his partner? I don't think we're doing critical fails. We're not doing critical fails, but... I'm going to say there's a, if I roll less than a 40, then yeah, he might. Yes. So that would be 
nine points of piercing damage against the orc that doesn't know what the hell hit him. <laughs> Maybe the archer's back up. <laughs> Actually, this dude was already damaged. <laughs> Good job, guys. Go team. <laughs> this orc just kind of screams out after the fact. Jefferson, duck! I forgot Jefferson was dead. And, and Lord Barry says, welcome to the team! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, but you know what? He's still going to get his attack on you. Before he goes down. Does a 15 hit you? No. All right. So then, let's see. Okay, then he goes down. But Jefferson's... Or then Jefferson goes down. All right, so this orc that's in front of Lord Bear, he's going to take a swing at uh, Danley. A seven misses. The other orc is going to take a swing at Lord Barry. A 13 misses. Things are looking up for you. Vera, you're up. All right. So Vera is... Okay, I only have two first level spell slots left. What can I do? I can't. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Sacred Flame the Orc in front of me. Okay. Why is it always rolling once? I get the same thing. I've been getting, getting a lot of ones. He dodges your one point of sacred flame. <laughs> sacred candle. <laughs> sacred. sacred ember. Ember. <laughs> All right, you gonna uh, move? You have any movement you want to use up, or is that it? Actually, uh, how much movement can I go? Because this is probably going to be suicide, but it, I would rather risk this than javelin. I'm going to move up. Yeah, you can do a healing word. That's exactly what I'm doing. Because as long as I can see him, it's a verbal oh. component. He is kind of falling down behind a stair. He is behind the stairs, unfortunately. But maybe if you move five more say? feet down or ten more feet down, you might be able to see him. So like right here? That would be a DM yeah. moment right there. Right here. You could go right here. That yeah, that don't worry about that border. That's not a fence or anything. Okay. And that won't that won't affect uh reaction. Alright, then I will healing word the ranger. I'm sure you can see his feet from there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which is just within 60 foot by you getting there anyways, right? Is that the distance you need as well? I believe so. I believe healing words. Yeah, yep. or... that's exactly what you need. So yeah, you need to go that far anyway, just to be able to hit him. Perfect. Right. Thanks, man. So does that Welcome make me... Am I conscious again? You're conscious yeah. with four hit points. Okay, I will use half of my action to stand up. Half your movement. Half of my movement. Can I see uh, this orc from where I am? You might need to step five foot south to be able to see him. I'll use another piece of my movement to step south. And uh, I'll grab the bow and take a shot and try to return the favor for 
Vera the Bright. Just don't don't roll a critical failure because we're apparently not doing critical failure. Oh wow. <laughs> My bow <laughs> never fails. This friggin' bow. <laughs> you're starting to feel it. bad for it. <laughs> so you're lucky bow, right? Thirteen points. Yeah, that right. orc is uh kind of wrecked. Right in the chest. It's like got one collapsed lung now. I would laugh if the orc just go just get shot in the lung and just stand there and goes, "Hey." Okay, so the orc on the left is sixteen, I believe it. Actually, it's seventeen. It's magical. Um, for nine piercing. Okay, hold on. And then some other ones are starting to work their way out. Okay, More go ahead. Me. And then with my dagger in my offhand, a 24 for four more piercing. So nine plus four, 13 in total. And that's the one in front of you or the one to the right? Yes. Of you? The one in front of me, the one to the left. Okay, so total of uh, 13. 13. Okay. All right. I'm loving the blade singer. This is an amazing class. Danley. So that one's still, so that one's still up. The this one, one is still up. He doesn't he's not looking too hot. So, so and I can reach him. I can reach him from where, where, I'm, at, where I'm at. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, um I just sat in the Oh hand axe. Oh hand axe him. All right. Twenty four hits. That kills that orc. Can I move? Can I move? Yep. Now you might want to move down to help Vera. You sure you can hang you sure you can this, hang one, on this one on your own? Yeah, yeah. I'm good. I did okay. not notice those two orcs coming out the back door. <laughs> Why did they always use uh, the back door? Aren't isn't proper marriage to use the front? Yeah, help the others. Well, okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, okay. I'll stay yeah. here. I'll stay here. I'll I'll be down as soon as I can. All right. Then you're gonna bonus action punch him or what? Oh, uh, uh, I use my. I, use I have my, to use my, to use my last, key, last key point, right? No. no. Oh, it's just a bonus. No. It's just a bonus yeah. section. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, just to do one punch is a bonus section. It's kind of like what I'm doing with my dagger. Yeah. I'll, like, yeah. Oh, I'll, uh, 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 okay. Uh, okay. I'll punch him. I'll punch him. But you actually can put your your decks into the damage. Is the monk unarmed? Is the monk unarmed? Yep, that's it. That will hit. That actually kills that orc. Ooh. Oh yeah, because he took an arrow earlier, right? Mm-hmm. And I think I'm and in I think I'm in the spot. perfect spot. Can you, right? right? I can, I can see, see air, all, all the orcs, orcs from there. Well, you, you might have more movement. You might want to move up if you. Well, well I want to be able, able to assemble them. them. Uh, uh, so so right. I can, can I move here. here? Well, Is there a range there. distance on your assemble? It's thirty foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the range is thirty feet on the sun bolt. Okay. You might... I, she I might think I'm okay where she's at because they're gonna get a go and they're gonna move. Oh, yeah. Well, so assuming she... they don't block the archer. Yeah. This one's thirty feet. <laughs> well, I got a. Hey, quit with the Matty gaming. Don't put any <laughs> ideas in his head. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't see any of this, so I really shouldn't be commenting. What happened to the orc that was right there? Which oh, 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 it's dead. Right. Oh, okay, yeah. never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it might be worth just staying where you're at because the orc's yeah. going to move soon and you don't want to necessarily 
Okay, so he'll be a reach. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can move next round. You should be able to move to wherever you need to to sunbolt them. All right, so one orc over here on Lord Barry. He's going to swing his great axe and miss. miss. This other guy Work is going to come over here and swing his great axe against Pathan. 24. Jeez. Out. Down again. 13 <laughs> points of slashing on, on Pathan. <laughs> Not too sure what you want me to say right now, buddy. <laughs> That was no, that was that him way. being polite. That was him being totally polite and not saying what he really wanted to say. <laughs> okay. So, so thirteen again. points of damage puts me at negative twelve. Yeah. So yeah, you're at zero. So you're 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 prone. You're prone. You're bleeding out. Hopefully, you're not gonna die soon. Unless they crit, I don't think they could actually damage you enough to murder you in one hit. Oh, yeah. They, they just have to hit me again. It's called coup de gras, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Well, yeah. Point. If you're down. Yeah. Actually, if they hit you when you're down, it's uh, one failed death save. Uh, two. Two? Yeah. Yep. Ugh. I'm going to run and grab some peanuts. Kill them, guys. <laughs> All right, so this orc charges over here. 50-50. Who am I going to hit? 1-2, Dan, uh, Danley. 3-4, Vera. Vera, going for the cleric. Uh, warning flare. All right. 12. I, I am glad I did the warning flare. Right. So that's how many, how many times a day can you use that? Uh, only two. Okay. Because so, it's my uh, wisdom modifier. Okay. So that's that on them. And then this orc. They've all well gone, right? Yeah. Unless there's a new one. Unless, yeah, unless there's orcs we don't know about. Oh, he's still moving. Oh, yeah. Still have So since I'm not going to coup de gras Pathan, I will instead attack Vera. Uh, he already attacked. Yeah, he took down the ranger. Oh, that's right. That was his go. So that was... No, wait. Yeah, he attacked Yeah, you're right. That was it. That was three. Three orcs, three attacks. All right, either way, he's moving over here. Yeah, he's getting his stuff... His pad, he's just like gonna stay over here because now it's viewers go. All right, anyways, um, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Word, <laughs> yes, I'm gonna healing word for starters, uh, healing word, uh, the ranger with my final spell slot. Uh oh, almost out of spells. Yep. Rangers at four. And I'm going to do something I should have thought of doing earlier. I'm going to attack the uh, orc in front of me. My rapier. 16 hits. Eight damage. All right. You have a sword? Oh my. Yeah, he bought it last time, I think. Yeah, it was oh, well before No Ringard. Yeah. Was it right before or session before? I think it was right before, but yeah. Yeah. That will be my. Leaves the Ranger. Now it's the Ranger's turn. The ranger's oh, groggy, slow to get up. This is Patrick has got a mouthful of peanuts, apparently. Sorry, guys. Do I have to make a death save or? 
You oh, yeah. you need to stand up and get back in the in the fight because you were given a for the fourth word. time. Yeah, I'm fucking the, run. The cleric chastised you for constantly lying down on the job. Oh. <laughs> I almost died three times. I'm, I'm pretty close to running away from this, honestly. <laughs> Screw it, guys. I'm out of here. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Yeah so, yeah, so you got four hit points. I'm, I'm fucking gone. I see dead people. They're everywhere. <laughs> At least I'm, you do a hard shot before you run away. I'm, I'm seriously running to the garden. I'm, I'm gone. Okay. I rolled a one. No choice. <laughs> okay. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't do that now. Um, last level, I would do that. This level, I would cast Cure Light on myself. Okay. Now I have that ability. What? Why am I here, guys? He's here to stop this the javelins. <laughs> So how many hit points did I get back from Vera before? Uh -huh. Awesome. Thank you. Um, and at that, I will... Right away. Um, I'll just hold. I'll just end my turn there. Lord Barry. For 10 points of piercing damage. All right. It's still up. I'm assuming he's still alive. And I'm assuming a seven misses. Yep, seven misses. That is my turn. Danley. Right in front of me. The one right in front of me? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, 21 will hit for six points of slashing. So you. Next it. Okay, it's still up. You get a bonus action. I guess uh, so. I wasn't, I wasn't going, going to, to, but I guess. guess. Okay. okay, so, so I'll, I'll just do Fury and Blows. Uh, uh, at, oh, wait, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. yeah. My, my, my last key point? point. Okay. You're like, you want to finish this. Before any more come up from the cellar. But I get two, I get two, two, two strikes without work. Mm -hmm. That's right. Two unarmed strikes on this one. Well, it doesn't have to be on this one. Okay. So the first one hits for five points and it's still up. So then you make a second attack. Which hits for another five points, and that kills that one. Yes, Stanley. Can I move? Can I move? Oh, oh, forward, yeah. Forward? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oops. Good job, Stanley. Good job. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. All right. So, Orc on Lord Barry swings a great axe. It's an 18 hit. 18 does hit, so I will pop another shield. All right. And then a uh, great axe on Danley. Does a 17 hit you? Yes, yes, it does. So that does seven points of damage against you. Now it's Vera's turn. Doesn't have much of a choice. So she is going to swing her rapier at the orc. Twelve misses. 
That will be her turn. Patherin. The injured but now healed Patherin will uh, knock an arrow and take a shot. With the bow that never fails. 26 yeah. will hit. Exactly. You should just rename that to your lucky longbow. should bow. never have fucking opened that door. Opening that <laughs> door was the worst fucking move of life. <laughs> Bathroom now has a fear of doors. 15 damage. That kills Opening the door. Yay. Okay, we're down to one. Do you have any uh, um, anything else you yeah, want to I'll, do? I'll move. Okay. That's me. All right. Lord Barry. Short sword does a 13 hit. Actually, 14 because it's magical. A 14 hits. For five piercing damage? That kills the orc. And I, um, I rush down to the other guys to see if they're all right. I have 40 feet of movement. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, 40. How are you guys doing? I'm like soaked in blood, head to toe. <laughs> I'm just covering, holding my injuries, just going. Uh... <clears throat> and I, I just, just look, look all, all sweaty and exhausted. exhausted. All right. Thank you, Vera. You saved my yeah. life three you're, times. Danley, you're a water genasi, so you always look sweaty. <laughs> Because you're constantly like soaked in water, part of your composition. <laughs> Ow. Is that it? Are we out of combat or? Y'all are out of combat. So I I go up to um the well. The well. <laughs> Oh no! I go up to Catherine. I'm like, um, looks like you've taken a little couple hits. I press DJ's clothes because <laughs> that's all I can do for him. I can't. Lord, Lord I Bear's like, I can't stand the sight of blood. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. So you fix my clothes? Mm-hmm. Well, no, it's like you ripped. didn't land in the dirt four times. They, they're Whatever. still ripped from the javelins and the axes, it, but all the blood stains are off. And all the dirt's off, too. They're nice and clean. You're weird, man. But well, I, don't have, I don't think I have mending, so I can't mend them for you. Catherine's so mood like has clearly shifted to not wanting to talk and being antisocial. <laughs> I'll just try to make him feel better. It turns like I'm gonna go hang out with the cow. Yeah, go away. Okay, I go. I go over to um. I go over to Vera. And I'm like, here, and I press to take her clothes too. <laughs> She just walks away, not saying a word. These people are just so ungrateful. <laughs> so, um, y'all can take some time to explore the farmhouse. I was, I was going to ask you, Aaron, uh, how long do you want to take this session? Uh, about another 15 minutes, hopefully, is all we need. Okay. Catherine's going to climb the farmhouse and just keep lookout on top, making sure no orcs are going to rampage towards us. Okay. So from your perch up top, you can see a few more off in the distance, a few more dead humans and orcs. Like there may have been a few skirmishes closer towards, let's say, the barn house or the... Uh... Okay. They're all dead or there are orcs yeah, living? They're all... There? No, they're all dead. A couple of dead right. orcs, but mostly dead humans. 
Um, There's nothing in the stove. Like over here and then over here. So when you go into the kitchen, you, you find some of the butter skull molds. Um, it was like a butter churn. A lot of the food stores have been gone through. I mean, there's still a few. I mean, there's still some stuff, but obviously these orcs have been feasting and leaving the place a mess. I think there's like a knocked over uh, milk jug over here. Um, Etc. Um, y'all can search the rest of the house if y'all want. Uh, you find a few beds, soiled sheets from obviously some orcs were sleeping in them recently. Um, looks like a few board games. Looks like they were playing dragon chess, but they had no idea how to play it. So, um, no telling what was going on really. Probably just made up the rules. They got a copy of Carcassonne? Say what now? They have a copy of Carcassonne? No. No. <laughs> just uh just dragon chess and maybe a couple of dice. Lord Barry's gonna check out the basement. See if uh see if there's anyone down in the basement. So you go down to the basement and you find a guy bound up, a rather large dude. Is that the basement? Maybe this is upstairs. Cellar. Down. Down here. No, on these stairs, I think they lead upstairs, not downstairs. The 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 doors that are outside. Yeah, I didn't go I didn't check the doors outside. I was checking the stairs here. Okay, yeah, those just lead upstairs. But if you do check out the cellar that leads you down I'll check go around the to oh, here. Yeah. And you can find Big Al bound. I un unbind him. I press Digitase close. <laughs> no one seems to appreciate it. He, he definitely needed it. Being down, <laughs> down there for, you know, for about a week. Right? I'm like, if I if my clothes are nice and freshly clean, I'd be appreciated. Appreciative. So yeah, it's so, you know, dirt floor, walls of mortared stone, eight foot high plank ceiling braced by wooden pillars. Uh hey, you shelves all... shelves along the Sorry, walls man? are lined with skulls made of butter and protected by a thin coating of wax. Um, he definitely looks exhausted, low on hit points. Yeah, um, I'm there. Yeah, but, uh, maybe, uh, maybe my friend Vera can help? No. No? I have a spell sludge at the moment. She's, she's totally exhausted, too. Yeah, well, I mean... Hopefully I think we're all can, exhausted right now. Hopefully you can press the digitate some of the bed sheets and get him <laughs> let him get a proper rest. Uh let him, I can so, do that. He, so he can have a proper rest in his bedroom. Hey, and then, and then by morning clean he'll you know, sheets give you a really good night's rest. And they definitely need cleaning after these orcs. I'm just saying. <laughs> So yeah, Big Al is know. like just he's he's kind of a combination of choked up, pissed off, and relieved all at once. Like just a flurry of motions overcome him as you, you know, you free him, get him situated again. Um he's off obviously got a little bit of a PTSD. Um and he's asking for your help to bury the Help him bury his his ranch hands who who died at the hands of these horrible orcs. And apparently, a little kid upstairs in the bedroom. Why a little kid? Well, I was looking at the upstairs, and there's like next to one of the beds looks like a little a little kid or something the lying doll? dead on the floor. Oh, it was a doll. Maybe it's a doll. It's a doll. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> That's the reason those last two orcs were taking a while to join the rest of their brethren in the fight. They were kind of upstairs playing with the doll. Playing with the doll. Mm -hmm. um, so Big Al's telling you that you know, he's much very grateful. You know, he he's inviting y'all to spend the night here because obviously it's late. You got to get back. Yeah, he just talks about how he misses uh when he when he kind of does a survey of the property. He laments because he uh, doesn't have any of his ro ro horses, nor his prize cow. We found them. We found three horses and a cow. We tied them up. We you found uh, Petunia? We fenced them in near um Bayberry, was it? Yeah. Coneyberry? Something berry. Colerberry? Yes. Yeah, like Coneyberry. Yeah. He's so Coney, grateful Coney to Coney you. Berry. He's so grateful to you. Uh you know, he, we, he we says that it's more important to come back here and rescue you than to, to bring him all the way back. That was that was good thinking. I, I appreciate it. Knowing that they're safe and that they're secure, he says, "I well, we can go fetch them. I can go fetch them." Uh, you know, you kind of tell them exactly where they're at. And he says, um, "Well, thank you for that. Please accept this. I used to use this as a, an adventurer, but uh, there's no need for me to have it anymore." So, as thanks to you for saving me and for saving uh, Petunia, my cow, who's probably the keystone to me being able to keep this place operating again, I'm offering you my mithril chain mail that I used to have when I was an adventurer myself. Should be good for our, uh, our fighter when he comes back. So, wow, that's some nice stuff. Can you use chainmail? I'm not sure, honestly. Uh, you have to have a certain amount of strength to use it. So then probably not. Chainmail is... Uh, it might be armor. Heavy armor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's chain shirt that's uh, medium. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Still really nice stuff. Yeah. So, um... So with that, um, I guess y'all can head back to head back to Fandolin. Uh, on the way back, you guide him to his horses and and Petunia. Um, the next day, so y'all, you know, y'all get a full rest in. Is he going to come back to us to town? No, he doesn't. But he writes you a note, so that way you can let the town master know, and he's. Because there are dragons, and he, it's probably be safer if he's staying down, right? Um, he'll be fine. He's he can secure himself. He can hide in the, uh, in the cellar if he needs to. He tells you. So, um, he says once you get back to town, if you can tell, I think, um, it looks like some of the ranch hands managed to get away. So his hope is that they'll come back. Because not all of them were accounted for. So he should be good to continue. So as thanks, he... Actually, what he does is he's offering... He's giving you um, a cart... Uh, a, a crate of, of butter skulls. He's asking if he can take it to Barthen's provisions for him. Since that was overdue. Okay. We can do that. And uh, he also gives you a couple of butter skulls just to make sure that y'all can partake of it and in the morning when he serves you breakfast he features some of this fancy butter that he's famous for before y'all head out for your waffles <laughs> so so how do you get the butter out of the skull do you dig it out of the eyes or well it's coated in wax so you just oh, break the wax okay. so let's see 
What did y'all get when y'all get back to town? I think it was a hundred gold pieces. First gold wrench. Hundred gold pieces. Yeah. So he sends you back with a letter of thanks. He signs it. A couple of, like I said, a crate of butter to deliver to. Uh, and uh, y'all are able to collect a hundred gold pieces when you get back into town. And with awesome. that, we're going to go ahead and uh, end the session or end the stream. That's, that's another 20 for each of us, right? Yeah. How much? Great, man. Thanks so much. 20 gold for everybody. Thank you. All right. We'll see y'all next awesome. week. Awesome. Bye -bye. Great any, session. Uh, any announcements, Zeref? Uh, no, I am trying to upload the videos as quickly as possible to YouTube and BitChute. You. Okay. Uh, but uh, that, no. All right. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, thanks guys.